Never let pride take you on a self-sabotage ride. The Bible says, pride cometh before the fall. And I know that verse all too well. Because many moons ago, many, many years ago, yours truly was the nightclub drama. So it was a girl I used to date versus the girl I was dating at the time. Me and the girl I was dating at the time, we used to frequent this club every Saturday, faithfully. But I found out that the girl I used to date was going to be there because it was her birthday. So I told the girl I was currently dating, I was like, I don't really want to go to the club tonight. She's like, what you mean you want to go to the club? They ain't like you, ain't nothing wrong with you. We go every week. Sometimes it's just better to be truthful right up front. But she broke me down, so I had to be truthful. So I said, listen, old girl I used to date is going to be there. And oh, you already know. You know how y'all get. She was like, no, 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 no. I'm not going to let her not let me go. Pride. The pride kicked in. Sometimes you guys see, you can clearly see the drama. You can clearly see the pain. You can clearly see the problem. But you let your pride get in the way. This person ain't going to tell me what I can't do. This person ain't going to stop me from doing what I want to do. That's exactly what was happening. And I was like, listen, we don't need to go. Because the whole point of going to a nightclub is to have fun. And if she's there, we're not going to have fun. Because old girl was wild, I'm telling you. She was something else. We were not crazy. She was a little crazy. And so girl was like, I'm going to go anyway. I'm going, I'm going with or without you. I'm like, oh, being a man that I was, I couldn't let her go by herself. So I was like, okay, I'm going to go. And so we go to the club. Everything seemed like it was okay. Then my ex-girl and her entourage come in. And you could just feel the energy just change. Went from a positive vibe to all of instantly a negative vibe. The two met in the hallway. Argument ensued. They rushed us out of the nightclub. And then they were following us out. And so then they rushed us back into the nightclub, kicked them out, her and her entourage. And so we was like, man, I was like, I told you. I was like, man, why are we here? We wasn't having no fun. It was this drama, all kind of problems. The next thing you know, somebody comes running in from outside. They like, somebody car on fire outside. And I was like, oh, that better not be, oh, that, be, oh, that better not be my car. Oh. I run outside, yeah. They done blew up my car. I looked her dead in the eye. And I said, I told you we shouldn't have came to this club. So I'm trying to tell you out there, listen to my story, learn from my story. And never let pride take you on a self-sabotage ride. Never let pride cloud your judgment. Never subscribe to pride because you just might find yourself tucking your tail and walking around a burnt up car that you can never ever drive again. Take a moment, breathe, pause, visualize the next few moments, the next few days of your life if you make the wrong decision just because of pride. Never subscribe to pride. Make the right decision and enjoy your life and enjoy the situation and enjoy the moment. Because when you do that, you are putting yourself in the perfect position to win each and every day of your life. It's a great day to win. Let's go.